Have I ever done backsplash tile at all? No. Have I ever used this product then? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No. <laughs> so easy. Oh, no. I'm scared. Now I see why kids eat these. Uh, okay. I think it's going great. My laundry room definitely needs some love and I've really been wanting to add a cute tile backsplash right here and I thought I can do that. I've been thinking about zhuzhing up this room for a while, but I've put it off because we've been working on other renovations. We've done the guest room, the playroom makeover, more recently the DIY backyard makeover, but now it is finally time to tackle this room. This room serves a few different functions. Obviously, it is where I do laundry. That's the first and most important function, but it is also Bougie's room. His litter box, his cat tree, all his stuff is in here. And it also kind of ends up being a catch all for a lot of DIY stuff because there's a sink in here that kind of ends up being like the DIY sink where we wash paintbrushes and stuff like that. So the plan is to clean up and clean out this room. There's a bunch of junk in here that just needs to be decluttered. It needs to be literally cleaned and wiped down because it's pretty grimy in here. And then the main add-on is gonna be the backsplash tile, this whole underneath wall, underneath these cabinets right here. And I also wanna add a little pole right here to hang my delicates. So let's do it. Just scraping paint out the sink with a spoon. Your typical everyday stuff. I have not seen this space completely cleared out like this in years. This is Bougie's feeding area and he eats wet food that like splashes everywhere. So there's all this yuckiness. You say feeding like he's a shark. <laughs> yes. Can you see the layer of fur across this whole thing. Oh, I thought that was like the carpet and it was like ripped up. Oh. No, it's removable. Oh. You might need something more powerful <laughs> for that. Let's see what this does. I've switched over to Chom Chomming. It's a silicone velvety roller device that collects pet hair. And you gotta go back and forth like this. Ooh. <laughs> Delicioso. The scale of my laundry room is actually kind of crazy because these cabinets are so big and tall. It kind of throws off how it looks. I gotta get up on a stool to reach. I've selected a beautiful meander marble mosaic tile, gray and white, kind of a bluish tint that matches my bluish tinted cabinetry. You could do it this way or this way. I've decided to do it vertically like so. Just looks more correct, I don't know. According to what I've seen on the internet, this product's simple matte tile setting matte adhesive stuff is the quickest, easiest, cleanest way to install tile instead of using actual like adhesive paste glue liquid. It's like double-sided sticky matte stuff. Have I ever done backsplash tile at all? No. Have I ever used this product then? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but I did watch a few tutorials and I read the instructions and it seems easy enough. It's got like little chunks of glue. Apply the flat adhesive side. So this side is like completely sticky and flat and then there's like bumps on this side that grip the tile. So this goes to the wall. You're supposed to do it vertically like this, not going all the way across like that. I gotta like climb up in this little crevice to reach it. It's like peel and stick wallpaper. And you gotta press it, you're supposed to press it real hard. Make sure it's on there real good. There, so easy. <laughs> <laughs> the way this is like rubbery is not helping me. <laughs> One panel done, now I just have to do 25 more. So far so good with this simple matte adhesive backing. Just trying to line it up then. This thing is working better. Just smooth it firmly. So you get it in the crevices good. I think it's the overalls. It's giving me Obviously. power. Anybody else wanna try? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this. This is Sam, not Zoe. 
if you didn't know already. Let's go. <laughs> the wall has been adhesivized. Sam did some patchwork to fill in the weird spots. Next step is you're supposed to find the center point of your wall. You're not supposed to start on the edge, as tempting as that is. You're supposed to start in the middle and then make it evenly go each direction. So to find the midpoint. Ugh. 85 and one fourth divided by two is 85.25 divided by two is 42 and does that mean three quarters? Two five. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what, three what three that is. is. No, not in decibels. <laughs> Oh. So it's slightly So under. wrong. So we're both so wrong. We, it was in the middle. It's in the middle. Nice. Wait, 42, so a little over 42 and a half? Yes, like yes. one dollop over that. <laughs> one dollop. Then we line up the laser level <laughs> with that. And then once we get the laser level in the right spot, nobody touch it. Little tiny bit, little less, little more. Right there. There we go. But then scoot it to the right. Nobody touch it. It's secure. <laughs> so our first two tiles go like me. That's amazing. So now you peel your sections. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they hired bees and lined them up like little soldiers and told them to poop out little squirts of honey. Miss Raven, when is someone gonna put you in an institute? I think <laughs> coffin nails is a little less unhinged <laughs> than that. This is enough for one. I'm scared. Once you place, you can't erase. Correct. So so don't do mess it, right. it up. This video is not sponsored by Home Depot. However, whilst doing this, we're also filming a sponsored TikTok for Home Depot. So shout out to Home Depot for all these supplies and working with me again. Hopefully I'm doing this project in y'all's store and everything justice because if you can't tell, I've decided not to use the spacers because they're honestly a little too thick. It was making too big of a gap and then it was just hard and I'm the eyeball queen. So I felt like I could eyeball it, but can I really eyeball it? The reason why I'm okay with not using spacers and not having it be perfect is because the sheets themselves are not perfect. There's a lot of irregularity in these existing grout lines. You know, it's forgiving. I am totally YOLOing this, totally doing yolo. an artisan style, free-handed approach. Nobody better say anything about it in the comments. Oh, I was looking at the one to the right. Yeah, that one is a little messed up. But it's not, it's, too, it's gonna not, be too hard to do anything else about it. Oh yeah, you can't because like, trim it off. I can't shave that little bit off. No. I, I think, hope it's I not a problem good. on the other side. I'm scared. Oh God, it looks small. Oh, no! no! Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, easier to cut this way, but I don't know if cutting this way is a problem for the machine. We have a wet tile saw. Hopefully it works. Some assembly required. Luckily I have a Zoe, because there's no pictures in these instructions. So I was getting a little confused. You gotta listen to the pictures in your mind. Not all of us are schizophrenic. <laughs> fill to the fill line. Casually watering your saw. I'm scared. Okay. It's a little choppy, just because I mean, some of those cuts on the tile are so small. But if the we grout will up, fill it in, and that's gonna be against the wall. Yeah, and then we'll caulk it, and no one will notice. Well, let's see if it fits. Zoe did a great job cutting the, the little sliver off. Hope it fits. Yeah. <gasps> it'll be fine. Yeah, it's not gonna get away with that. Cut a little too much, but it'll be fine once it's grouted and caulked and whatnot. I make sure to say that, L. Yeah. Caulk. Nice peel. You make sure to say that L in my household. <laughs> now imagine I hired a grown man. What would he do? What would we do? 
So much for starting in the middle so it's equal on both sides. Well, it's like they lied. Equal. It's mostly equal. Well, yeah. You can't tell from down here. I fear that the lack of equality here is from our own doing. Skill issue. Skill issue. But we measured it and everything. Yeah. What else were we supposed to do? Yeah. I think it's because the tiles are irregular. Well, they are it. weird. You picked a hard tile to tile for the first time with. For go sure. big or go home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Day two, overnight, the weight of the tile has like like dragged itself down to where now the tile is like sitting butt to butt on the next one down instead of leaving a proper grout line in between. I'm peeling this off so I can... It does feel like it needs something to keep it from doing that again. using command hooks as shims <laughs> because the shims we buy are too fat. So I cut this with scissors, like just cause it actually ended up fitting where I could just cut it on the mesh. And then this one does need to be cut through the actual tile to like fit next to it. Last one had a little chunk broken off, so now we're gonna go put this inside. Just a few technical difficulties. <laughs> this is my shirt. Oh, ah. yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a handy dandy pair of overalls to protect your clothes? Ooh. DIY rasp, I think is what the tool is called. Little file tool thingy. Yeah, there you go. Because I need to file down a little chunk of my cabinet back here to make this tile fit correctly, long story short, because, you know, just rigging stuff up to make it work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's going great. This is great. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I did it. Let's see. I trained in Italy. It's not I'm that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're really supposed to use to make your markings on the tile, but we've been using a Sharpie. So I'm just using nail polish remover to remove the Sharpie marks. What you doing? I'm painter's taping. We gotta grout it next and that stuff's messy, regardless of how not messy it says it is. And we don't want it all over the cabinets. So we're just gonna do a little double layer next to it. Of course, this will come off before we caulk it. But. Using simple grout, ready to use bright white pre-mixed grout. I'm just gonna start grouting in this bottom corner. Maybe the float silicone so it doesn't scratch the tile. Yeah, but I, the, I gotta get it with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't you have gloves for this reason? Do you have gloves back? <laughs> I'm really trying to think if I would have hired someone to do this, how would they do this? <laughs> it would have been embarrassing. Imagine a grown man up there. <laughs> We're in Home Depot, of course. We had to come and shoot some shots for the sponsored TikTok. Plus, we genuinely needed to pick up a few more supplies to be able to finish the project. So we got more, oh, I can't fit through here. <laughs> we got more grout, another float, so we can double time it and some caulk. And then we need to get a hacksaw so we can cut that pole down to size. That's the last thing we're grabbing right now. We passed by a worker and he was like, yeah, they come here a lot. <laughs> we got Stanley for the cheapest, DeWalt for the expensive, Milwaukee for the mid range. <laughs> New tool acquired. <laughs> We're almost done. We're applying the last <laughs> smears of grout. Then we gotta float it, then we gotta sponge it. Well, we gotta float it, then hold it, then float it one more time, then sponge it. A weekend has passed. It's grouted, it's cleaned. It was a biatch to clean. I'm not gonna lie, all the leftover grout residue was really hard to wipe off, but I got it off. It's looking good. Now it's time to caulk because we do definitely have some major areas to fill here. This gap is probably a little too big than it should be, but it should be fine. A little caulk in there, nobody will ever see. We're gonna go all around the edge of the cabinets and then 
down the side of the wall and also this seam here. I feel like it's gonna be easy. I, I feel pretty confident about caulking. That's something I've done before. Fun fact, caulk gun has a thingy to cut the tip of the caulk off. This is like the third time you've said that, fun fact. It's still fun, so it's I'm gonna still, still tell you. One for Sam. Step one, Okay. press this lever, uh -huh. pull really the this. string back. Step Maybe two, hole. use that to cut your hole. Yeah. Yeah. Set it and then forget it. Yeah. Ready to call. <laughs> Sometimes you also have to stab it, apparently. Ooh. There we go. Mm. I'm struggling with the weird gap right here because I can't, it's like disconnected. The purpose of caulk is to prevent water from seeping into your cracks. However, I don't think any water is gonna seep into this particular crack. I'd also like to point out that today is July 22nd, and what's Sam working on? I'm about Christmas. Christmas in July. It's Christmas in July, and it is certainly a task. Total go big or go home, so. Excited Get excited. <laughs> it's chunking. This is so sticky. Ow. Three towels down. It doesn't rinse. The other type of cough rinses. Caulk is done, kind of. I wanna to try to go back and fix it maybe later, but oh. next step, this yeah. giant pole that is literally three times bigger than I need it to be. I gotta cut it to size because I wanna add it going from here to here. And then you can hang your delicates to air dry, you know? So sizing, well, I guess I could just, this is not gonna be accurate, period. 36 and a quarter, maybe even a little less than that. I'm not sure how hard it is to like get it in the thing and get it in the thing. Got the DeWalt hacksaw with a bimetal blade. I may said you could cut through this with one of these. Seems a bit improbable to me. And then I have to like try to make it straight. How many girls does it take to cut a pole? Two. Three. <laughs> We're at that very edge there. We're just gonna do a little towards you and then towards me. Oh. There you go. Oh, look how clean that is. Part of the Home Depot deal got me more detergent so I can rebuild it. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I, I looked away for one second. Instead of buying fabric softener and all those fancy overpriced laundry products, all you need is a little cleaning vinegar. Except I just realized this is cleaning vinegar concentrate. Six times more powerful than standard vinegar. I normally Why just put- Why does it say 30% vinegar, but it's six times stronger than vinegar? I'm confused. I don't understand Cause that. it has something. It's Dilute it's one part to 60 parts water. What? What, is, what? I'm confused too. Like what is it besides vinegar then? As acidic, assay it, as acidic. Acid? So Whatever. Okay. Yellow. Alright. A while ago I found these at in the Target dollar spot. Only a dollar per pack. They've got little cute little stickers. Dryer balls, dryer sheets, powder detergent, liquid detergent. Big and juicy. <laughs> what? Bite it. Oh my god. No. <laughs> now I see why kids eat these. Look at the jiggle. Zaya, don't get any ideas. Do you love your new room? Fuji! 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 F
Bougie, big reveal. Wait, come back, don't run, don't run. Bougie, time to see your new and improved room. What do you think? Do you like it? My water bottle's not even plugged in. Oh. Oh, what is that? Pretty. I've got. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, are you excited to be there? I bet you're not. 